Greetings, my name is 8020 and welcome back to the Defunkies Trophy Run. It's uh, It's been a little bit for me, but probably not for you. Um, so, uh, I have to apologize in advance that the videos probably aren't going to be as scheduled as I want them to be for a bit. Because of all these problems that have been showing up. First with um, episode 29 being cut in half and the latter half being deleted because of corruption. Um, then there was Glub. Glub's a whole other ordeal that I did months ago, and then finally edited, like, a few days ago. Um, and I just still can't get the, the fact that it's just such a bad game out of my head. And then there's all sorts of stuff. Like, today I'm gonna be doing Tiki's Game. And from what I know, Tiki's Game is a nightmare. Um, and actually, let me grab... One thing real quick before I do the reading for the day. Uh, cause I want to show this guy off despite the fact that you're not going to be playing as him. Uh, where is it? Where are they? There are three things I need to show off. There's found one. There's the other one. Okay. There's these guys. There he is stands out a lot, because he's like one of the only purple guys that I remember off memory, because I don't remember colors though. Like, you can tell me, you can show me a picture of Funky, I'll be able to name it, but I don't know. Um, let's do the, the reading real quick. Where are we? We did do Run Stitch. I think. Yes. Funky folklore reports it, it like this. A long time ago, the Stitch were trusted with the great secret of the Funky King, uh, the great King Funky Gummin, of the Golden Age. It was a secret so great that could bring down the King, his Golden Age, and maybe all of their opinion. It was his only fan's account. As protectors of this great secret, the Stitch kept away from most other Funkies, spending their time lurking in graveyards, peacefully cultivating and gathering mushrooms. They were so successful in keeping this secret that all the Funkies started entrusting their secrets to the Stitch. They would follow other Funkies around, learn the secrets, and store them for safekeeping. After years of this behavior, the Stitch evolved to having their lips sewn shut, with an eye for danger and no heart so that they could never be tempted to tell their secrets if what they knew got out. Yeah. Alright, and then here are some of the guys you gotta showcase. Uh, I got this guy a few months ago. I don't know if he works anymore. Oh, hold on. It's been a while since I've operated this device, so it may be finicky. Here we go. Shit, are any of them gonna work? Here, let me try out the other guy. I got this guy a few weeks ago. None of them are working. This is bad. There we go. Alright, so the purple tiki is uh, one I got after I got the uh, yellow one. I, put, I say yellow in quotation marks because uh, yellow tiki is not yellow. The, they printed him out in real life as brown. To, to what end they did this, I probably will never know. Uh, let's head over to WA6. Uh, and today we're going to be playing Tiki's Game. I've never played it before, but from what I've heard of it, it's the most tedious game to ever complete um, in UB Funky. One of the most. So there's a purple Tiki. Uh, I also got a few other characters here. I got this guy. Oh, God. I got a black glove. <sighs> not that I wanted one. No, I'm not a big fan of glove, if you remember. But uh, he was in a two-pack with someone I did want, which is this bad boy. I have the uh, very rare Lucky, uh, which is very lucky of me, I would say. Which, uh, nice. Uh, I'm not going to do your quest. Right, let's go get clean. And here's the rare Tiki that we're going to be playing as today. So in real life, his color is brown. 
but you can see in the picture he's yellow, which is not right. Actually, it's not known which one would have been the right color, which one's the wrong color. Was he printed wrong, or was he put in the game wrong? I'd like to think that he was printed wrong, since the game was probably coded before the figures were made. But who knows? Which came first, the code or the funky? Uh, where is Tiki's game? I've never played his game, so I don't know where he comes from. That's not it. Is this- oh yeah, Tiki's side. No doy. Um... Here we go! Tiki Hut! Oh, okay, I've never played this game. Ever. And I don't know how many points I need to get the thing. So I'm gonna pull up my good old pal, the funky Wikipedia page, and see what I need to do. Get it? Cause, cause I'm under the sea and I said sea? Ha ha, people. What is this called? Breakout? What is this? I don't even know what this game is called, that's how little I know about it. Bounce and Break. Thousand points. That shouldn't be that hard. Okay, how do I? Can oh, ooh, uh oh. Okay, it's just breakout. It shouldn't be that bad. Okay, metal is indestructible. Got it. I'm relatively decent at Atari Breakout. Not like the actual Atari Breakout, but like the versions I've played of it. So I shouldn't be that bad at this. But I have a feeling it's going to be tedious regardless, because, you know, all things must be tedious before they can be fun. Uh, nah, that doesn't sound like a quote that works. Nah. I don't think that's true at all. <laughs> then again, most things I say are nonsense, so most people can just disregard them. I don't even know what I'm saying half the time. Okay, just juggle some balls. Oh, I wanted that last time. Okay. What the fuck was that? Whoa! Okay, I think I realize, I think I know now why this game is somewhat universally hated by the Funkies community. Ah, uh, they, they picked a poor choice of music to use for this one, too. Are these like bombs? What are these? Oh god. Oh no. Ooh. Oh no! Why would I even bother going for that second one if we were all the way in the wild blue yonder? That's stupid. I'm like subconsciously moving my mouse upwards. I need to use the mouse pad for this. Mouse is the better one. Mouse, mouse is better. Mouse pad makes me feel cruisy and woozy. Oh boy, what's happening over here? Oh nice! That was like a, a big ol' bonus. Not really, but like, it felt nice. <laughs> yeah, no, this game is... I mean, it's okay to play. It's not, like, entertaining to the max, but I think I can have a decent enough time with it so that it won't take me, like, light years to obtain the trophy. But at the same time, I fear that that judgment may be misplaced, because I already lost a single life to... bullshittery, as one would call it. Um... Oh, yeah. And also this. Also, it said 40,000 for the trophy? So, where am I supposed to get, like, okay, where am I getting these points from? Uh, I can't play, like, infinite rounds of this. I definitely don't want to do this over and over again. Oh boy, come on. Come on, man. Also, the ball's probably gonna get faster at some point. I mean, it has to, like, velocity and shit. I mean, I know it's programmed at a max, it has a max speed. What that max speed is, I don't know. Mm -hmm. 
wait, and then that can happen. I don't know what that is or why it does that. Is there a way it can, like, get stuck in there? I feel like you could soft lock if it gets stuck in there. I don't like that. Also, there's the multi ball right in the middle that I'll probably guarantee miss, apparently. Let's go for this one. Yeah, no, this is not. Oh boy, this is gonna suck. Okay, what am I gonna do here? Do we just. Yeah, okay, I guess. Nope, nope, that's not what I wanted. Oh no, now I gotta go all the way. Wait, whoa, wait, what the? You can actually break the iron ones? How'd I do that? How many bounces did that require? No. There you go! Jesus! And that makes weird noise and, and yeah, the... Okay. Yeah, I can imagine why, why the, the funky community would not have fun with this one if it takes such a long period of time to, to, to get the trophy. Because seeing it as it is, and the glitches, the glitches definitely. But like, seeing it as it is right here, this is just a lot of tedious junk. And I know, like, talking is probably going to be boring. I'm probably going to, what I'm going to do is, once I eventually, inevitably lose this round, what was that? Um... Okay, once I inevitably lose this round, I'm probably going to do speed up for the gem and the trophy. Or if I get want to get the trophy, you know, I'll just like mute myself, like the other videos that I did that went horribly wrong. And this pro this video right here is probably gonna go horribly wrong too, because you know, you know how it is. You guys know, you guys understand. That with me, things don't work. And if you've watched, if you've watched the whole trophy playlist from here, from the beginning to here, you'll know by now that nothing goes right. Nothing works out. At least for me and this run. Yep, there we go. Okay. How many points did this say I needed? 40,000? Mm. Ooh, how many trophy points do I need for the, the, the gym? 250,000. Ah, no! <coughs> <coughs> yeah, this is gonna suck. See you guys in like a, a light year.
I told you I was going to break out and I beat the game! I got the, tr the throne! Yay, yay me. Unfortunately, I have to play this a dozen more times. So instead of uh, letting the recording get so big that I have to manually prepare it, I'm actually going to slip this into two separate recordings and then merge them together and post. And one of the recordings will be completely muted so I'll know when to cut it perfectly. I won't have to worry too much. All I have to do is like just constantly lose a million times and it should be good. So uh see you in like thirty years. Okay, we finally got it. Great Tinker's Ghost! You found another gem shard! This is a fantastic development! If we can reunite the gem shards, we can regain their once awesome power! If there are more, we must find them! Alright, we're done with Tiki's game! Enough to play it again! Let's go to Tiki Mart! Oh man. Hmm. Ooh. I like that. Alright, let's go to the crib and put this down. Uh do 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 ba 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 ba. Now if you're wondering where Glub's thing is, I actually already put it down in the Speed Racer video. I don't know which one it was, but it was a little fishbowl. You might not have noticed it. I'll actually go into the Garage to show it's right here. The sick fish. Now let's see here. Uh, golden gear. Where did I get that from? Oh right. Painful night's sleep. Uh, I I have eight of these. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the best! Uh, 
Um, Chieftain's Throne. I, I guess I don't. I don't need that. Um, what was I looking for? What did I just buy? First pool tables. Knock tomatoes. Uh, is it here? No, it's not in pets. Machinery. Oh, this is what machinery is. Huh. Come on, obelisk. Uh, what the fuck? Where would it be? I just bought the- oh, I'm blind. Jeez, music, of course. Alright, well, that is it for this episode. This is 8020. Doing what he does, uh, do, but best does he does best, it's glitching out! <laughs>